Hello, all my shield friends. I hope everybody is having a great day today. And today I have also a great new exercise for you guys to try. All you're going to need is a broom, a mop or stick, anything, any kind of stick just like this. We're going to have a whole full body workout today using the stick. In my case, I grabbed a broom and we're going to do a little bit of workout with, with that today. Before we begin, let's do a little bit of breathing and warm up. So let's put our feet comfortably on the floor, hands resting on the table. We're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And let's shake our hands and shake our arms we shake the shoulders and the waist and the hips and shake the knees and tap out those feet. We're going to slowly roll the neck, slowly roll the neck in the other direction. We're going to put on our hands and our head or shoulders or knees or toes or head or shoulders or knees or toes, the head, the shoulders the knees, the toes. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna take my broom. I'm gonna put it behind my, behind my head, resting on my shoulders. I'm gonna put my feet about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna do squats. So keep the back straight, hold the hands comfortably on the broom. You can wide apart, closer apart, however feels more comfortable. We're going to bend down and come up. Down and up. Go as low as you comfortably can. If you only go a little bit ways, that's okay. If you can go down further, that's great. Whatever is best, whatever is best for you. Then we'll go down and up. Let's do a couple more. Two more. And don't forget to smile. And up. And we'll put the broom to the side for a minute. We'll put the hands on the table. We'll breathe in. And we'll breathe out. We'll breathe in. We'll breathe out. Let's do another one for the legs using the broom. We're going to put it once again behind our head, just like before. We're going to put our feet a little bit closer together, and we're just going to go up on our toes and down. So we go up and down. We're using those muscles in the back of the leg, the calf muscles, and they go up and down. Do a couple more of these. Keep the smile. If you're smiling, you're happy. It's hard to not be happy when you're smiling. Let's do two more. Last one, we go up and back down. Let's put that broom to the side. Feet comfortably on the floor. Hands on the table, and <laughs> we breathe in, and we breathe out. We'll breathe in, and we'll breathe out. We're gonna do one now that works the back of the legs and the lower back. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly out, hold the Room anywhere, shoulder width apart, wider, doesn't matter, whatever, whatever's comfortable for you. We're gonna keep the back straight. We can bend the knees a little bit. We're gonna keep the back straight. We're gonna go down to the floor and slowly come up. Very important, slowly. Slowly down with the back straight. 
slowly up. Slowly down. Slowly up. Back straight, down, and up. If you can go all the way down, that's great. If not, just go as far as you comfortably can. And let's do a couple more. Last one. Great, and we'll put the broom to the side. Hands on the table. We'll breathe in. We'll breathe out. We'll breathe in. We'll breathe out. Okay, I have a great, great exercise. It's one of my favorites. We take the broom, Put it back behind the head and we do the twist. Told you it was one of my favorites. We do twists. The feet come three on the floor. They can be close together, wide apart, whatever you prefer. I like when I have the broom or the mop or the stick. I like to sometimes put my feet wide apart. And when I do the twist, I go down and up at an angle when I twist. You can try it. So I'm just, instead of being straight, I keep my back straight, my knees bent, I lean forward and come down like this. So you guys can try that. Or if you prefer, you can just do the regular twist like we often do. Couple more. And with that, let's put the broom or the mop or a stick aside. I like to shake out my arms sometimes because when you have them up like this, sometimes your, your, your hands might fall asleep a little bit. So just shake them out a little bit when you're, when you're finished. Feet come through on the floor, hands on the table. We'll breathe in. We breathe out. In. We'll breathe out. Okay, I got a great one. Great new one for the shoulders. We hold, bound shoulder width apart, back straight looking forward. We bring the elbows up and we bring the stick up to our chin. Slowly. No one, don't hit yourself in the mouth. I'll be in big trouble if, if you guys hit yourself in the mouth. Don't do that. Come up slow and down. Right up to the chin without hitting yourself. And we can change this exercise. We can modify it a little bit. Let's bring our hands right together so the hands are actually touching. Same thing. Different angle, but the same. Same basic exercise, it works the shoulders. And we go down and up and down. Let's do two more of these and I'll show you a third one you can try. Okay, the last one, you put the hands, you put the hands wide and you come up. You won't be able to come up as far, maybe you can, but, but you come up to the side like this. We do a couple more of these. Let's do two more. So we got one and last one. Great. And we will put the stick aside. Feet, you will shake out the hands. Feet comfortably on the floor. Hands resting on the table. <laughs> we'll breathe in. We'll breathe out. one we're going to take the broom in our hand oh about shoulder width maybe a little bit wider we go behind our head and push up behind the head and up behind and a 
go nice and slow. Don't, don't hit yourself in the head. That would be bad. I would be in big trouble. We go slowly down and slowly up. Down and up. Let's do two more. And I'll show you another way to do it. Bring it to the front and up. Down to the front and up. Front and up. And front, up. Just like that. And with that, let's put the broom down. We'll put our feet comfortably on the floor. Shake out our hands just a little bit. We'll breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing is so important. You gotta keep these lungs, the circulatory breathing, the respiratory system, I'm sorry, the respiratory system strong. And the circulatory system too because it, it's all, it, all, it all works together. The respiratory system brings the air in, the circulatory brings the, the, the air to the muscles, and that's how that all works. Okay, let's do, let's do one more here. Let's do one, oh, let's do a full body one. So what we're gonna do, we're going to bend the knees. We're gonna bring the back straight, we're gonna bring the broom all the way to the ground. We're going to stand up. We're going to bring it to the shoulders. We're going to push it overhead. Back to the shoulders, to the knees, and the floor. To the knees, to the shoulders, overhead, shoulders, knees, floor, knees, shoulders, up, shoulders, knees, floor, knees, Shoulders up, shoulders, knees, floor. And we'll just put that aside for now. Shaking up the hands, feet comfortably on the floor, hands on the table. We'll breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Okay, last exercise I want to do is curls. So we're gonna hold the broom a little bit wider than shoulders. We curl up and down, up and down. We slowly come up and slowly down. Let's do two more of these. Last one. And we can reverse our hand. So now instead of having the hand palm facing forward, the hand will come so the back of the hand is forward and will come up like this. This is called a reverse curl. And it works the arm muscles in a little bit different way, a different angle. While we still have it, we're going to do something for our wrist. I always, we're going to just do down and up. It's so important. I always say it all the time. You got to keep the wrists strong and flexible. If you're on the computer a lot, you're playing video games a lot, people get a tendency, their wrist get injured. You can get hurt yourself if you do too much, too much on the computer, too much on games without keeping them flexible and strong. So we're going to switch it now. Now the palms are up, we do, these are called wrist curls, but we just keep the elbows to our side, we go down and up. And these are great for keeping your wrist strong. If you put that aside, let's do a little more for the wrist, we'll make some circles. And in the other direction, circles. <laughs> and we'll wiggle those fingers and wiggle those thumbs. Give a big clap to keep them nice and warm. And we'll wiggle them a little bit more. And another big clap. <laughs> and now we'll just stand up straight. We'll make some circles with our neck. Same thing when we're on the computer, we tend to lean forward. We gotta put a strain in our neck. So 
We're going to make some circles. We're going to bring one ear to the shoulder and then the other. We're going to shake our head. No. And then we're going to nod our head. Yes. And with that, I want to, so we're going to stop now. We're finished. We can take this broom. <laughs> we can use it to sweep the floor and any, anything like that. It would be a great idea since we have it out. But guys, I want to say to you, all my shield friends, I'm going to see you all. I'm going to see you all very soon. Until then, stay strong, stay healthy, drink lots of water, have some fun. We'll put our hands together and we'll say together, Namaste.